Hi, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, learn about the latest information on using essential oils to treat persistent Lyme. This article is based on the latest research from Ying Zhang out of Johns Hopkins University. For more detailed information than I can include in this video, be sure to click the link to my written article in the description. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD Supplements. The reason that a lot of people are wondering about essential oils again is based upon some recent uh, work, uh, some recent research that got published by um, a medical doctor named Ying Sang, uh, who's uh, taken his uh, tuberculosis research lab at Johns Hopkins and turned it into a Lyme disease research lab. All right, and so the reason, the relationship, and why he would go from tuberculosis to Lyme, is that. There's an idea in the world of Lyme right now that one of the reasons people are having a hard time recovering is that some of these people might have persister Lyme, all right? So persister Lyme um, is an idea that's getting a lot of attention. And essentially what it is is it's spirochetes and cyst Lyme that after being exposed to antibiotics for some time, the germ, some of those germ forms go into what's called a persister state. And there's been some petri dish experiments looking at that out of Northeastern University in Boston about four or five years ago now that showed on petri dishes that when they're exposed regularly to antibiotics, that about 20% of the spirochetes and about 20, excuse me, 20% of the cyst turned into these persister forms. And what a persister form is, or a persister state is, is basically that the germ goes into hibernation. It just slows its activity way down. And in that hibernation state, it can ignore the antibiotics. That makes it hard to get over it, okay? And it can ignore the immune system too. Now, the reason that Ying Zhang is researching this is that's the same thing that happens in the world of tuberculosis, all right? Tuberculosis is known as being a persister germ. And so tuberculosis, there's lots of research and, and you know, common treatments now involve two and three drugs. And so he thought, why don't I start taking that knowledge and apply it to the world of Lyme disease to help these people that are suffering from it, okay? All right. So one of the things that he has found, he's looked at a number of things, and I, I write about some of those on my website. I'll show you an article I have about persistent Lyme here in a minute. Uh, but one of those that he's most recently looked at is, and he's done some experiments showing that there are a number of essential oils that on petri dishes do a good job of getting rid of persister Lyme, okay? So that's why it's back, people are considering this idea of essential oils again. Now, I have to caution you that what happens on a petri dish is not always an indicator of what's gonna happen in a living person, all right? About four or five years ago, we went through a craze, and I'll call it a craze. Everyone was starting to do um, uh, doTERRA essential oils. There's a bunch of people that were in an antibiotic treatment and they just stopped doing it and they moved over to doing the essential oils, all right? Now, there are some people that got help with that, but the majority of people did not have lasting benefits from it. And they eventually had to come back and get back into either herbal or prescription antibiotics. That's when I was in practice, all right? And my opinion is, I think the problem is with essential oils. I think, yeah, I think on a Petri dish they can kill but that's because they're being literally put directly on the germ. The problem with essential oils is when we take them orally, I don't know that they're getting adequately absorbed in any meaningful way into the bloodstream where they can then get at the germ, okay? It'll be interesting to see that based on Ying Zhang's research, will there people start looking at delivery mechanisms like doing liposomal essential oils, for instance, microscopically wrapping them in fat in a way that they can get absorbed. 